Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam and today we're gonna take a look on the functions with the OBD 11 Pro on 2006 Audi A8. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and enjoy the video. Okay guys, so today we're gonna check the OBD11 Pro on a bit older car which is the 2006 Audi A8 In the last movie I have checked a dongle on the 2014 Audi A4 and there was quite a lot of check could do So let's check what we can do on the a bit older car Alright, so I'm gonna connect everything and we'll back to you from the application Okay guys, so I have connected just the OBD dongle into the OBD uh, port so let's connect with it uh, OBD 11.2 connecting password in my case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros <laughs> tap to scan ok Okay, so we just found the seven errors, seven problems. So let's check first what what, what problems that are. But it's a shame that there is no any option in the Carista just to jump somewhere here, just to jump onto the error list. Instead of that, need to check all each modulus. But I think if there is the green label, there is no problems brakes is on the red fault control modular okay so that's the typical for 2006 a8 KLS system currently no faults yes because I have disabled that system air conditioning to fault so let's check what's going on windshield defogger open circuit and left rear foot wall heater okay the windshield defogger because that that windshield is not heated and probably that's why is that error and uh, another one left rear foot wall heater is a common issue in the <laughs> A8 I'm just trying to find out the working one but I don't think I'm gonna find a media player about probably about the rear seat entertainment because I have disconnected it okay. parking heater combination comfort data bus data bus no signal communication but I need to check that one
on the gateway control module and correctly coded and the media player no signal one okay so I have disconnected that one and that's all tire pressure so this one is being switched off I'm just waiting for the new sensor to put in the tires trial control I don't have the trailer let's check the fault no fault okay and that's all from the errors let's check the the apps now what we can have here and the adjustment tabs tourist solution for headlights DVD log MMI 2G for 10 credits is it about the, the sat nav in the boot in some cars the, uh, the dealership forgot to unlock so if you want to update the maps you sometimes need to uh, unlock the sat nav drive uh, green engineering many 2G 10 credits ok retrofit there is nothing in there workshop oil service reset 10 credits brake pad replacement 10 credits brake pad thickness 10 credits and the service intervals also 10 credits that's quite useful especially in that car like the A8 when you need to put the when you're changing the rear um, brake pads you need to uh, reconfigure the the control module <coughs> and insert the new pad thickness um, that's all let's go here here and let's check what coordinates we can do steering angle sensor not responding <laughs> engine transmission brakes system let's check what we can do here coding okay adaptation okay, I need to select the channel but here you can also and the KLS system and the coding <coughs> you can uh, disable the the keyless functions I've done that so nobody can open just the car with my without my uh, key uh, passengers it, what we have in display coding Start screen of the eight S eight mute. We're interactive <sighs> language. Central electronics. Let's check the codings. And we got the football lightning, light bulbs, one LED. I guess I see there are the LEDs. <coughs> Head, headlights. It's another one. Two, three, I got number four. Mixed on headline with separate you know, halogen, the arrow, and the rest of the front light system. Yes, that's correct. Yes, I got automatic driving lights. Country. One. Rest of the world. Media player, I'll check. Have only long coding. Just mark it. Adaptive cruise control. Let's check what we can do here. Mm. Actually, can do something, but I don't have the description. 
check the parking heater coding also no description not having any adaptation nothing output test okay gateway long coding uh, what we have here trailer not installed distance regulation installed airbag trailer regulation it's about all modulars in the car from installed yes like everything is correct driver identification let's check here can only adaptation driver seat let's check the codings <laughs> also no description that's a shame Adaptation probably you need the, the some channel. I'm not gonna touch that one. Let's check what we have in sound system. This car is equipped with the Bank Olufsen. We have here. Okay, no description will not touch that one. The output test. And let's start. That's all. Uh, passenger door. Let's check this one. So errors. What about the codings? Okay, check the output test, sequential. Mm. Ah, there is the next on the top. Light regulation, no fault to the coatings. We got here 18 and Audi A4, Audi A8, sorry. That looks correct. Radio battery regulation. Adaptation channel. Uh, that's shame that there is no coding because of that car need to code the new battery when when replacing uh, we right door parking assistant telephone coding So let's clear up the arrows. Okay, guys. So I think that's gonna be all for now. I still think that the OBD11 Pro is better than the Carista, but it's also a bit more expensive. But I can read all arrows without having the subscription. Of course, the OBD11 for some parts of the functions needs like the credits, but the the basic codings, the error readings or error cleanings, we can do without any extra points. Use by using an extra points or or having the subscription 
Okay guys, so please let me know in the comments if you are using the OBD11 Pro and what you are thinking about it better than the Carista or even the VCDS and please tell me which uh, diagnostic tool do you prefer. Please also do not forget to subscribe the channel and see you in the next movie.